really encouraging to see so many people turn out this morning. It just shows what an interest we all have and the state that we all have when it comes to health, in terms of health or social care. It's already been said that, yes, the population is approximately 370,000 individuals and it's an, it's, that, that poses a significant challenge for any organisation. And sitting here this morning, it's been great to hear both sides, the great things that are happening and certainly the challenges and the things that have yet to actually take place. Hearing in future that CBA is saying that in two years' time that we're projected to go even further on to 400,000 people, that's going to be a vast challenge for Croydon, an absolutely vast challenge. Um, we have on one side of things the regeneration taking place. That's the great news of it, the jobs that are being created, the homes that are being created. That side of it sounds absolutely marvellous because with that should, in theory, come through better health prospects for individuals. However, we've also heard about the deprivation that, st that we still have, the differences um, between uh, um, the difference in life expenses with it throughout the borough. We all have a massive stake in this massive venture and it isn't just up to Health Watch, I would say, to actually expect them to actually do co carry on and collect this information. We all have a major stake in fantastic health services that our borough is to some extent and will continue and will get better if we all do our part. In terms of the volunteering, it was wonderful. Thank you so much for here for, for what you said. I was inspired. Um, sitting here, I have a vested interest. At last year, uh, well, should I say a few years before, my two children um, were delivered at um, what I would still term as Mayday Hospital. And I'm sure a lot of people are shooting me, but I'm sorry, I'm still, still going to be Mayday Hospital. On both occasions, I almost died. They were um, absolutely amazing. We, and I'm not here just to, def to actually defend, we've also got to look at the other things that our hospital does. But let's, let's make sure that we put all this information through one source, if we can. And that means Health Watch will be bombarded. That then calls back to the volunteers. So I go full circle. It's not just one area. We need to actually all have a stake in what happens. So please, please, please do your bit. Um, that's, that's my rant, I think, unfortunately, as your first citizen. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Let me go back. Um, thank you very much, Health Watch, for being so very informative this morning. Um, it's great to hear some of the things that are actually taking place. Um, and thank you so very much, Hannah. Um, it, it, you know, I, I could have sat there and taken loads of notes as well. I don't think I could have actually taken everything off. But the good news is we've got a fantastically packed room, so I'm sure individuals have taken aspects of what you said so therefore what should happen is we should all then lead in various areas um, and I'm sure I'll be taking some of that back um, to council members um, as I see them too. Um, it's certainly very easy for any organisation as I remember saying a year ago to turn up um, to as our watch could do and criticise and criticise and criticise but I must say you've really tried to get this fantastic balance of not just well, of pushing to some extent or well, <coughs> sorry you push 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 but in addition to that you also try to work collaboratively with the other agencies with the council with the CCG with um, our university hospitals and our many elderly um, at, uh, at house, um, so called nursing homes or so whatever, um, whatever the banner is and I'm, I'm sure that's where people like Hannah will correct me and say they're all called a cluster of such and such but the major thing is you've worked collaboratively with them and I think that really should be celebrated we should support you as much as we can and the gentleman that was at the back which I, I thought it was fantastic the work that you've done 
Um, um, and you know, over the, those years that you've actually been doing it, I would say if you have a tremendous amount of data, please, please, please put that forward to Healthwatch because we just need at this moment in time one voice and one champion. Um, and that's where Healthwatch, we say to yourselves, if you need us to actually be, you know, we turn up tremendously uh, in great numbers at such meetings, if you need us to be an added strength, then that's where as individuals in Croydon, we will have to listen to yourself and be behind you as well at certain meetings to make sure that all of our voices are heard with you at the beginning and you at the front. Um, I'm not going to say too much more on that today because a great deal has already been said, but congratulate you on the work that you've done. I know that there are tremendous challenges ahead and I'm sure that with the team that you've got, oh, I should also um, declare an interest to my dear husband who had a stroke last year, happens to be on your panel. But <laughs> not just saying that, I should say that I should, um, yes, congratulate you on what you've done. And I look forward to the work that we're going to see in years to come. Thank you, I should say, <coughs> for the work that you've done in pushing the, 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 um, the successes that I see at Croydon University Hospital, as I'm always going to determine, as, as I said, amazing. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.